Bad Gamer Cat. Welcome back to Seven Days to Die Alpha 17.1 Stable Branch. And it is almost morning. We have just a little bit less than an hour to go, and I'm just really enjoying the uh, night sky. It's so pretty and very dark. And I did remember to put my graphics back to default so we won't have a washed out day. Well, we will if it's stormy. That's what happened yesterday. In, in the last video, it was super stormy. So I think we're going to make some bacon and eggs. We're going to try. Hopefully it won't attack too many zombies. Back into our little corner. I put down my bed roll. We're just... I didn't have enough wood to uh, cover the top, which is nice, though, because it's nice to look up. So I still don't know if we're going to stay here, if we're going to look for somewhere better. So while we cook our eggs, let's take a look at the map. So this is where we have our temporary home. And we have some corn right next door. A cornfield, which is good. And the trader is here. So before we decide whether we want to make this our uh, permanent home, or, or at least for the first week or whatever, we might want to look around a little bit more. Um, I don't want to go too, too far from the trader. And I don't know where this road leads and whether it leads to a city or not. I did go as far as this in the last episode, and I turned around here because I didn't see anything. So I don't know if there's anything here or not. But the problem is, it took us three days to get here to the trader. And now it is day four, and we need somewhere safe for Horde Night. So we need to scope that out too, because if we do decide to make this our base, I don't think we want to have Horde Night here as well. And this is not a very secure base, because they can break in. Um, there are some windows open downstairs from the junkyard that they can just climb in, come up the steps, and there's a bunch of them down there. And they can easily get up over here. So, I'm sorry you can't see very much, but this is the second um, level, the second part of the rooftop that's one level down, and they can easily make their way to this level because it's not fortified yet. So this wouldn't be a good horde base the way it is. It's our little oasis of light. So, I, And I need to gather so much more wood. I need to gather more stones. Because we have a lot of feathers. We have uh, a whole stack of 250 feathers, plus 38. We only have 83 arrows because I don't have enough wood left to make any more arrows. We have 63 stone, which is not bad. So I did make this chest, so we're going to put away the rest of the meat and the egg. So, let's take our bacon and eggs and turn this off. And we need to get down there and gather some more wood first thing. It's morning, but it's still super dark. <laughs> See, they can easily break in here. and get up these stairs so it's not very secure and also there's these stairs right over here and there's an open window downstairs so we're not going to go that way right now we're just going to go this way I 
I'm totally creeped out. I don't know why, but it feels very creepy. I hear a zombie, but I don't see it. There it is. I'm sorry for how dark it is, you guys. I, I could change the settings again. The problem is, if I don't change them right back in the morning, I forget to change them all together. And then it looks really wiped out for you. here maybe we could drag them out to where there's some light so they're not in the shadows so much because there's light over here I might have to change the settings again you guys Where did he go? I don't know. Let's start taking down this tree in the meantime. Hopefully we won't be snuck up on. There he is. Oh, major leg. Maybe that means more zombies have spawned in. And you know, I've noticed they s just drop them out of the ear right near you too, which I don't like. They shouldn't be allowed to spawn the zombies out of thin air really close to you. The zombies should be forced to walk to you like the way they used to. I think it's really cheaty if they're just gonna spawn them out of thin air a few feet away from your character. Oh, we are now level six. Hi, Stompy. How you doing? I just want to get a tree. Which which tree was I banging on? Was it this one? Yeah. Because you get the bonus at the end, so it's worth it to keep going. I hear you. Where are you? I wish we could kill them with the trees. Whoa! Whoa! He was behind us. He got a slap in. Hope there's no birds around. I'm distracted by a black and white box to the right of that tree ahead. What is that? Is he dead? Because that big roar scared me. Oh, it's just this. From far away, it looked like a black and white box. Okay, so what do we have here? Let's just take a look. 
Oh, but we're back in this biome. This is the biome of death with dogs and everything and ferals. This is a sucky biome. Is it just a short little piece of it or is this is this a sucky biome too? Police. Oh god, no, not police. The police in this game are horrific. They they spit acid at you. Yeah, look at that. It's more of this horrible biome. There's a town, but it's in that horrible biome that spawns dogs. And ferals. Well, let's just quickly go check these cars. Because I, in two, in two of my games, I found a helmet um, with a light. What are they called? A mining helmet in a car, and I'd really like to get one. Yeah! Run! Let's run this way. I named the seed Run because I run so much. Oh god, he's still chasing us! <laughs> oh my god, I'm it! Oh, we're gonna die! Okay, the dog chased us to the wolf! <laughs> Yeah, we are staying in that junkyard. Um, where's our bag? It's this way. Probably a bad idea to go get our stuff, but we've got that shotgun. I should have just saved that shotgun for Horde Night. That dog chases right into a wolf. Let's see if we can try to skirt that scary biome. And hopefully not burn to death. My problem was stopping. I should have just kept running. If you keep running, sometimes you can run right away before they spawn anything in. Well, we've had two deaths in this Let's Play. After several Let's Plays with no deaths. Do you hear barking? 
I thought I heard barking. <coughs> Did you hear barking? I need arrows. at the house. Or cloth. <laughs> oh, come on, E. <laughs> oh my god, this is terrifying! And you know what I just realized? We don't have a land claim block down. And we don't have... Oh, I think... I don't think it takes wood, actually. We can probably make one out of stone, right? Yeah, just take stone. Let's make a land claim block. Block. I can't talk. I'm so freaked out. And let's make ten bandages. And we have one point. Can I take that one where you can make our own bandages or no? Where is that one? What is it called where you get to make your own bandages? I can't even remember. I thought it would be in here, but it might be intellect. Is it yeah, science? No, it's physician. And we can't do that because... I need intellect level four. Seriously, four? That sucks. Okay, um. Ugh. Oh, I don't know if I want to do that. I might want to do something else. Um. Where's the one where you bang people on the head? Skull Crusher. Blows to the head, do 20% more damage. Let's buy that because that would have come in handy while trying to kill those wolves and dogs. I can't believe we took on a wolf and a dog. 
Okay, okay, calm down. Let's eat one of these aloe creams. Um, they give us three max health and five health. Okay, let's use that. And let's use our painkiller. And let's use that. Let's use a bandage. We need to get our max health back up. And let's use another bandage. Is it still going up? Look how slowly does that happen? See the gray line at the bottom? That's our max health, and we need to get that up before we can get our health up. Is two bandages enough? How about one more bandage? And let's eat. Let's drink. We need to find some water. Oh, goodness. Well, we have some water left at the, uh, tra at the trader. <laughs> Near-death trauma for 19 minutes. And what does that do to us? Our attributes are temporarily lowered. So our strength is down. So just our strength, it just affects our strength. So it's taking away our, our level 2 strength. Because we died, okay. I got stuck. This is not a secure base. <laughs> I would really have liked to have taken that dog and the wolf's body. Okay, we've got our stuff. <sighs> this is really bad. This is really harsh. I want some stone. I'm, I'm looking... Look, I see houses over there, but I think that's that scary biome full of dogs, isn't it? Let's see how far the grass goes. Although the grass, if, I mean, if the green biome's full of wolves and bears, it's not much safer, is it? I can't believe this place has been crazy. We've seen ferals, bears, wolves, dogs, snakes. I've been killed three times! Yeah, look at those houses are in that crappy biome. We can't go there. We cannot go there. That is like the kiss of death.
Six cold resist, two heat resist. Well, it's better than what we're wearing, right? Is there anything else up there? There's a safe, but that'll take forever to get into. And there's something on the top level. Oh, here's one of those big stones. Let's get some stones, you guys. Make a bunch more arrows. Oh, thank God, airdrop. Where is it? Where is it? Airdrop, where are you? It must be on the other side of that building. Oh, but what if they put it in the, uh... Let's go for that airdrop, you guys. Let's see if we can find it on the map. Well, I don't know. Let's just go for it right now, if we can. Hopefully it's in the green biome. in a mood. Where did I pass it? Here it is. I ran right past it. Oh my god, it doesn't have any health items. Well, let's take it. Food. Okay, I want to kill her. I always forget how fast some of these girl zombies move. Who else can we kill? Anyone else? No, then let me get some more stone. I don't want lead right now. doing with our kill the nurses thing I mean do we have to be selecting it how does that work oh we have to head to a waypoint to do it wow okay no I'm not traveling 3.5 kilometers to kill some nurses I thought it just meant in general, kill nurses. Every time I see one of these resource racks, I think it's a bear.
I think I probably already looted all of these. No? Money. All right. Might as well stop at the trader on the way home. Oh, look at the time, though. It's crazy, the time. I've been playing for almost an hour. So I'm going to have to do a lot of editing to get this down. So guys, I think we're going to stop here. I'm going to slowly make my way to the trader, but we'll have to do that in the next episode. So I hope you enjoyed that. We survived a dog and a bear. I don't know how. Well, not a dog and a bear. A dog and a wolf. First they killed us, but then we killed them. So that was good. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like and subscribe button. And I will see you next time. Take care and bye for now.